Good day and welcome, my name is Drake598Shadow and we are here today to have a look at Rise of Insanity and we are on the second part of our playthrough for this game. So I have to fly the bird? This is weird. Edward versus Stefan or Stephen. Looks like cherry blossoms falling. I suppose I should check this first. Definitely hear noises coming from there though. So I'll have to look for a way in. I almost wish there was a way to run. This looks like there's something over there. Yeah, there is. You shouldn't be there. Skull and a key, or a bird skull and a key. Is there anything else here? Okay, back to where we came from again. The crows are calling, I wonder what their connection is to all this. Are they like your guiding spirit through whatever's going on, or do they have something to do with it in itself? get the no run, they want to build suspense, but I wish I could move through faster in those areas. Daddy, 
play with me. Yes, but there's no one here. Certificate of death, Theodore, age seven, male, family home, strangulation in sleep, cause. Okay. That Daddy, is a little. Why did you allow him? That's disconcerting. So I'm guessing... It's a battle of wills. Or maybe acceptance? Daddy! Daddy! He's here! He's back! It's almost like we're travelling through memories. The way it keeps skipping and jumping. So we're now in Theodore's room it would seem. Little wooden sword. Uh, Theodore is a very talented child. He's very calm and he has put the character of uh, and he has the character of a dreamer. Uh, the only thing that disturbs me is the shadowy shape which often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic or something. Nothing to be worried about. Mrs. Johnson. I'm guessing that's his teacher. So, Edward's a gardener, and we were just at the gardens. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go in there, but... I get the feeling I have to light something as well. Miss Fuse. There's rats everywhere over the floor. Any fuses? I would guess that's Theodore's shield. Oh, well, that's why the rats were there, feasting on their own. Hmm. 
Four arrows. Maybe in, in, out, out. No, nothing to do with that. Okay. Why was there some sort of surgical equipment below? Uh, dear Stefan, my wife is very well as usual. Uh, let's move to the es essence of the case. You should remember that we have a similar case in the past. Uh, it was the case that you took active part in. Uh, we are overworked, you might have forgotten. I think that you should with the use of the suggestions, help your patient to for fini uh, finish the dream. Hypnosis can be too invasive. Try to ask him about his past, accepting traumatic events he has experienced. Could be the starting point in merging the different selves. Looking forward to your next letter. Greetings, Abraham. Uses. That doesn't sound good, it sounds like a gas leak. No, maybe a water leak. Okay, that's my way out too. Now do I have to trigger this in some way? Um, what was it? It was... So they're white and black. And I want the white on the insides. the pattern. Uh -huh. That should do it. Missing fuses. The lights back on. Okay, they could swear the stairs were not like that. So I think we just came f no, we came from there. Oh, we can get back into here now. fear that thought may not come back home. Hmm. Patient Edward 41, taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, 
I establish that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply. Mm, from what I've seen, I don't think that's the correct diagnosis. I think Eddie's the sub-personality. And he did take control. That's what I'm getting the feeling of from that child's drawing. Back to the phone. Okay. Stephen short for Stephen. Okay. Eddie Edward. And what's Theodore's the child? We haven't established the wife's name. That is a very odd picture. We're back to the morgue. Daddy, I'm lost. It was so sad. I lost my figurines. Please find them for me. Okay, yeah. Maybe not a ghost. Not normal. I can't even find the music box that that is coming from. duck or a swan. A lot of these look like birds. So. I swear they're supposed to. But that's probably what the game is trying to draw my conclusion to. I think that elevator just crashed. Uh, analyzing your previous letter and observations, I believe that the problem is connected with. Uh, please give it some more thought. I am worried about you and your family. When I come back from, I will visit you and we will talk. Send your wife and child someplace. Make sure they are safe. That 
has me worried. Patient Eddie, 41. Day. <laughs> Having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life, violence in the family and pathology, I've decided that I will use a less invasive method of treatment. We can handle without hypnosis. The confrontation with the past and dreams connected with some mild anxiolytics should be enough. I think that finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split selves. All we need to do is wait and observe. No, that's not what you would want to do in that case. You would want him to try to resolve the dream in any other way possible. Although that's my personal opinion, I'm no psychologist or anything, so don't quote me on that. So this is all back on the shelves. Woman receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child is strangled during sleep. Okay. Yeah, that's why you don't want him to finish the dream. There's a body in there, isn't there? I can hear lots of flies. And it looked like there was one there. Down we go. Registry. This should then be on the bottom level, you would think. I thought I saw two dolls there for a second. Is there anything I can interact with in the registry? news. As the investigation has shown, the police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. That one almost looks like a frog in the center. Be the last doll. Okay, so it's raining blood again. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Okay. Well, I have been Drake598 Shadow, and this has been the second episode. Of Rise of Insanity.
I have been Drake598 Shadow, this has been the second part of Rise of Insanity, I do hope you enjoyed this, uh, I have, it seems like a pretty good game, uh, feel free to tune in next time for part 3, uh, where we'll probably kick off right here in this room, thank you very much for tuning in.